Hello, you are welcome to solve for hey in this nice algebra problem. Here we have root a raised to power root a then minus root 5 raised to power root a equals to 39. And then from here, we can equal the right root 8 as 8 raised to power half. Then here we have raised to power a. And that a is also raised to power half. So we can write that like that. Then minus here also 5 raised to power half. Then which is also raised to power a. Then which is raised to power half as well. Equals to 39. Then from here, from the law of uh, indices, we have this part multiplied from here. And this can be written as 8 raised to power a raised to power half over 2. So we can write it like that. When this multiply, then minus. Also, we have 5 raised to power a, then to power half, then my over 2 here, which is equal to 39. <coughs> and here we have a to power half over 2 common. So let the letter represent that. So let letter P be equals to A to power half, then over 2 from here. Then easily we can write this and say this is 8 raised to power P minus 5 raised to power P equals to 39 from here. And then in the next step, we can rewrite this as 8 raised to power p, then raised to power 2 over 2, then minus 5 raised to power p, then raised to power 2 over 2, which is equal to 39. So 2 over 2 is still 1, so still the same thing with what we have the previous line here. Then when we write this from the law of indices since this power multiply as well so we can say this is a raised to power p over 2 then all raised to power 2 then minus 5 raised to power p over 2 then all raised to power 2 equal to 39 and this follows from difference of two square what we have x square minus y square this is same thing as x plus y, then multiply by x minus y. So when we write this in, th in that format, we have 8 raised to the power p over 2 plus 5 raised to the power p over 2, then multiply by 8 raised to the power p over 2, then minus 5 raised to the power p over 2, then equals to 39. Now, here, this first bracket will be greater than the second bracket here. And then, that means we can separate this into two you know, numbers. And that will be 13 times 3 from here. So, 13 times 3, that's 39. So, it implies that the, you know, Greater one here, we go for the first one here. So we have 8 raised to power p over 2 plus 5 raised to power p over 2 will then be equals to 13. And then 8 raised to power p over 2 minus 5 raised to power p over 2 will then be equals to 3. So by the time we solve this, we can eliminate 5 raised to power p over 2 by adding these two equations and this will give us 2 multiplied by 8 raised to power p over 2 then we have equals to this as cancel out and this is equal to 16 from here 13 plus 3 that's 16 divide both sides by 2 from here then we have 8 raised to power p over 2 will be left here which is equal to 8 on this side. So this will give us 
8 raised to the power of t over 2 equals to 8 from here. And when we look at this, we have base 8, also base 8, and this is 8 raised to the power 1. So we equate the power, so we can say p over 2 here is equals to 1, and that's 1 over 1. When we cross multiply from here, we have p equals to 2. Then we recall from there that we have we represented p as a raised to the power half then over 2. So when we equate this now, that is p, we equate this to 2 and this 2 over 1. Also from here we cross multiply and then this power from here multiply 1, we have a raised to the power half equals to 1, then 2 times 2, sorry, a raised to the power half times 1, that's a raised to the power, then 2 times 2, that's 4. Then from here, we can square both sides, so as to remove this power of half, so we square this side, also square this side, then this cancel out, remain here, then 4 squared there, that gives us 16. So here, therefore, the value of a in this problem is therefore equals to 16. And uh, we can also check to see if this satisfies the given uh, problem. And from here, we have root 8 raised to power root a minus root 5 raised to power root a equals to 39. When we put a to be equal to 16 from here, so square root of that root 8 raised to power root 16, then minus root 5 raised to power 16, is this equals to 39 from here. Then when we look at this, we have root 8, that's 8 raised to power half, then raised to power root 16, that's 4. Then minus here, 5, that's 5 raised to power half. Then root 16, that's also 4. Is it equal to 39 from here? Then this power, since you multiply 2 here, 1, 2 here, 2, that's 8 square minus here. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 2, that's 5 square. Is it equal to 39 from here? Then a square means 8 times 8, and that's 64. Then 5 square, 5 times 5, 25. Is it equals to 39 from here? Then when we subtract here, this side will give us 39, which is equal to 39. We have the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side, and therefore we can say that a equals to. 16 satisfy this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to Master T Math Class for more interesting and exciting you know, video. Put your comment in the comment section. See you in the next class. Bye for now.